Hey, what's going on YouTube? Will here at All Electric back again with another video. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about does autopilot rely mostly on lane lines or other cars? So what you're seeing here is a clip that I did a couple weeks ago on an older software version where I actually engaged autopilot when there was some lines going over a bridge. But as you can see here, there's no lines on the road. There's no cars I'm following. So what is autopilot relying on here? Is it relying on other vehicles or is it relying on lane lines here i think it's relying on the road but you can see around that curve back there how tight this blue line is and i want to compare that to another test that i did recently with the newest software version and that's 2019.20.4.2 and you can see i'm actually following another vehicle that's also going to be engaging autopilot over this short section of bridge where there is a double yellow line and autopilot, it's just long enough to engage autopilot. So you can see here that autopilot is engaged. First, you can tell by the blue circle there with the steering wheel and by the two blue lines there. And then the car in front of me, you can see on the screen there is also engaged in autopilot. So let me just show you that again, because yes, during this short stretch of lane lines, you can actually engage autopilot and autopilot will carry on even though there's no more lane lines on the road like you see here. Now I want you to pay special attention to that left hand blue line that you see, how it's bouncing back and forth. So what I think is happening here is why it's getting so wide because that, not the car in front of me, but the car in front of it, that big SUV up there is the car is actually trying to determine where that is going, which draws my car closer to that left-hand side of the lane. So it's almost like this is a one-lane road here, is what Autopilot's thinking. And so you'll see my car here, and let's compare that to where we were before, how tight that blue line was right around the car, knowing that it had to stay to the right-hand side when there was no vehicles. But you can see, compare that to now, where it's kind of bouncing back and forth, taking up the entire lane there. And right about here, you can see where my car, the two blue lines are super wide. It's thinking that this is a one lane road. It's not seeing any lines. So it's saying, hey, this entire piece of asphalt is space to drive in. And right there, I wanna go back real quick. You can see the Model X in front of me, which is also engaged in autopilot, swerves right over. I know that happened fast. Let me rewind it for you swerves over and actually takes a position almost like it's going to pass the car in front of it then the car does disengage sorry about the glare i do apologize the car in front of me disengages and i do end up disengaging and that's because of this hill crest coming up here i didn't you know i wanted to see if the autopilot was going to get back over but because of this blind hill crest right there i just didn't want to you know risk it so i disengaged autopilot and did end up getting behind so i'm really curious what you guys think let me know down in the comment section below do you think that autopilot is following the car or the lane lines or both or what about this situation where there is no lane lines i want to give a big shout out to james henderson he went over to patreon and supported me for one dollar a month and because of the special I have going on now until July 5th, he got this personal shout out. So I appreciate you, James. I encourage all of you watching this to head over to Patreon and click that button for as little as a dollar a month. You can get a personal shout out on here on YouTube and on Twitter. There's lots of bonus features there for you guys. So go over there, check it out. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Please share it with a friend and I'll see you guys in the next one.